Hi everyone, my name is Renee and I'm a product expert here at Upkeep. And in this video, I'm going to walk you through how you and your team can bulk update your assets. You can use our update feature to make mass changes to your assets, saving time from updating each one individually. So for our agenda today, I'll provide you with a quick demonstration so that you can start updating. Before we begin with our actual demonstration, just a small disclaimer. If you are watching this video, you already have assets inside your account and you want to bulk update them. If not, you should check out our how to import assets video. With that being said, let's start with the demonstration. All right, now that we've navigated to the asset tab, we're gonna click on the three dots on the top right hand side of our screen. And then we're gonna choose import. Once that page pops up, you're gonna select download current assets on the left hand side next to updating existing assets so we're going to click on that and perfect once that is clicked on it'll automatically open up a csv file in excel and so this is the csv file that you're going to see on your end so this is the current list of all my assets that i have on upkeep and before I actually make any changes, please just note that there are certain columns and rows that you cannot make any changes to. So the first one is row one. Row one, as you can see, is the title column on the CSV file. So just be sure not to make any changes. Don't remove any data there or you'll run into an error message. And for column A, this is actually the unique identifier for that specific asset. So if you want to make any changes or to those assets, just be sure to leave that alone as well. And then also another note or something to keep in mind is that you can change or update existing information and you can add new information to empty columns, but you cannot erase or delete any existing information. So for example, that would be if maybe I have all my assets set up at a specific location. I can't bulk update it to remove that location, but I can I can change it to a different location, but I can't remove any data. So just keep that in mind there. So perfect. What I want to do on my CSV file is just update the name of the assets and as well as update the location. So that's all I'm going to change, which is a row, or I'm sorry, column B and then column H. So I'm going to change that information, but you can add different information. So let's say you want to add the description, the type, barcode, any other information you can add as well. You can change anything from here and all of that. So let's see here. Perfect. The only columns that you are not able to actually edit would be the date created, which is on a B column. So just be sure that is just the created date when you originally imported this asset or added this asset onto upkeep. So just keep that in mind. You can't make any changes there. So I've already updated the asset names on my end and updated the locations. I just wanted to set up a specific naming convention for all my assets just so that it looks a lot more organized for my team. And once we've updated or made the changes that we want to to our assets, we're gonna just save the file. And then we're gonna go back onto the asset tab in Upkeep. We're gonna go back and click on the three dots and then import. From import, we're gonna go ahead and choose a file. And I'm gonna choose, or you can drag the file but I'm gonna choose the file that I was just working on and saved and updated the asset names and locations of. So perfect, once that is successful. Beautiful, okay, so that went through. Just gonna go back to my asset tab and just see and verify that all the changes were made. So perfect, all of them were updated. They all have the naming convention that I wanted to change it to and they're all set up to the correct location now. So that is how you bulk update your assets. Now that is the general rundown of how to bulk update your existing assets onto upkeep. And I really hope that this video was helpful, but we do also have these step-by-step -step instructions available in our help center. So you're welcome to check that out as well. But if you do happen to have any questions, feel free to reach out to our support team. We'd be more than happy to help. 
But that is all from me for today. So till next time, take care.